Hello everyone, Percival here, and I'm back again with this Indo.io stuff. Especially from Wildworks, since apparently they released their roadmap. Only thing is, it's accessible on mobile. If I go here and look at the roadmap, I cannot see it. Yes, yeah, totally functional site. Most people are going to be playing your shitty game on a fucking computer. <sighs> Anyways, here's a look at the traits and rarity stuff on the Sindo.io webpage. Roughly 150 characteristics of the varying rarity are distributed across nine categories to generate the Sindo Fay. Each will have a completely unique avatar look in the world of Sindo that can never be duplicated. Future updates to the world on airdrops to NFT owners will further distinguish these avatars in both appearance and capabilities. Cinder will soon enable NFT hume holders to create and customise other avatars in the game, among other things, but supporters who purchase NFTs in this collection will own avatars that are forever unique and instantly recognisable. Two of those look nearly the, the exact same. And here's their roadmap. Cinder, phase one, beta development and testing. Cinder branching complete. Cinder Fay NFT production complete. Solana blockchain and wallet integration. Have you noticed how both phase two and phase three have dates, but phase one does not? And see here as how Feral is still in early access. We were playing a beta for Cinder. They pretty much just about confirmed it with this Cinder branching complete shit. Phase 2, November 2021. Cinder announcement. Cinder.io launch. Influence partnerships. Are they going to get the Jambastors to advertise their shitty game? Discord slash Instagram slash Twitter launch. Countdown to minting. Phase 3. They use the like symbol here. January 2022. Cinder NFT avatar drop. Cinder.io game portal live. Cinder game live. Roadmap reveal. They've done that about... They've done that a few weeks early. About a month early, actually. Phase 4. Avatar editor beta. Room editor beta. Live events for NFT owners announced. In-game personal NFT galleries. Countdown to new Avatar Mint. This is phase five and onwards. Phase five. In-game musical artist collaboration. New Avatar species released. Live event for NFT owners. In-game user generated. Content marketplace reveal. New avatar species released. Are they going to re-release the feral species for this? Honestly, that's kind of fucking cruel. Phase 6. Marketplace launch. Content partnership drop. 12 mount feature. Roadmap reveal. What the fuck is a 12 mount feature? Countdown to yet another new avatar mint. Phase 7. New avatar species released. Which is just copy paste from phase five. Licensing summit. Art artist partnership roadmap. VR support. Exchange traded token. It's in the cryptocurrency. Has Wildworks been developing a fucking cryptocurrency? Despite previously saying that cryptocurrency and NFTs are bad in Animal Jam. Honestly. Plus, VR support. They haven't done VR in any of their other games. If you do if you do support this and you get an NFT and use it with VR, then it's quite probably gonna fuck you up. Especially considering the worm bug that occurred in Feral, where there was a fucking There was a Eureka item of a pillow that had a worm on it. And it fucked up the camera for just about everyone involved. 
because the camera would twitch and oscillate rapidly. The more players I had it equipped, the more the camera would twitch and oscillate. It was actually fucking recorded on the stream that Wild Rooks did. Phase 8. More avatars. More tools. More everything. Fractional ownership. NFTs can be jointly owned. Player to player smart contracts, art commissions, etc. Also in phase six they've just used the they've practically used Kitsun icon. That looks exactly like a fucking Kitsun. I honestly can't believe this is happening. So basically, we've been testing Cinder without knowing. Us felt players have been testing Cinder without knowing that it was for Cinder. We spent money on this game for star fragments to get more modifications to our avatars or to get premium sets of furniture and clothing items. This is just... Honestly, what the fuck world works? Anyways, that's about it for this video, I guess. I don't have anything else to cover over the roadmap.